And welcome back. Lisa Briggs with Bruce Company is answering your plant and garden questions. Again, you can email them to tips at channel3000.com. Lisa, it's so nice to see you here today. Nice to see you. We were saying during the break, you kind of got the C team today <laughs> with Mark being Maybe out. Maybe only in week. terms of gardening. You guys are all great. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we got our first question. Uh, Peggy says she has a mum that is planted in the ground and it bloomed profusely over the summer. Should we leave it as is or should we cut it back to the ground? Easy question. Yeah, okay, so a mum is a perennial here, if, if you've had it all summer, so it's a perennial mum. Um, as far as cutting it, you can cut it back. I'd leave up about maybe four or five inches. If you just planted it this year, sometimes mums are a little slow to establish. When you take your Christmas tree down, Peggy, uh, cut some branches and put some branches over it as the ground freezes, and that will help protect the crown of the plant and get it through the, through the worst of the winter. I guess that's we haven't good. had that yet. Good advice. <laughs> uh, next from Ryan, I have a Boston fern type plant and a palm tree type plant mm -hmm. that I left outside too long <gasps> and they were exposed to the cold and freezing temperatures. Are they gone for good and can I save them by bringing them back inside and cutting back all the dead stuff? If you left them outside once it got really cold and they've been outside, they're probably done. If after a couple of cold nights you'd brought them back in, then you might have a chance, but if they've been outside this whole time, I would say that they are done, unfortunately. If they did come inside, then yes, cut off anything that's dead, um, put it in a sunny place, water it as needed. Palms need less water than the ferns do, and see if you get some new growth coming back from the base of the plant. But if they've stayed outside and you're thinking about bringing them in now, it's too late. All right. We've had That's some really cold temps. All the questions we have for now, but okay. I want you to explain, what is this plant? This is a new one you have this here. This is a new us. plant for us. It's called an ardesia or coral berry. Now it's not the coral berry that we think of, or if you're a gardener, there's a, na there's a native coral berry that is hardy here. It's a shrub. This is a different plant. And so it has this really great glossy foliage and these really pretty berries, they start off kind of white and then the color intensifies. Sure. Now I will say that the berries are toxic. So if you have a plant or a pet who likes okay. to eat plants, this is not the plant for Keep you. Keep your cats and dogs Keep away from it. Keep your cats and kids and dogs away from it. It likes a bright, sunny location and it likes to be on the moist side. So if you're an overwaterer without pets who like to eat plants, this is a good plant for you. Sure, and you were explaining, I mean, you can kind of see it. We got the kind of white color mm -hmm. and then yeah. they go up. Yeah, yeah and the, the longer they are, you can see the ones up top are much deeper in color. So the longer, oh, here's, and they're dropping off. <laughs> the longer the berries are on there, the deeper they get. So the color is really cool. All right. Uh, any more questions we have? I can't see any. We don't have any more coming in. Well, let's talk about holiday sure, plants yeah. for a minute. So everybody has the holiday plants they always get, like poinsettias and uh, amaryllis. Cyclamen is another one. Christmas cactus, of course. So we can talk a little bit about care to get those going so they look really great through the holidays. Cut me off when I, we're getting close because I don't have a new face. Yes. So let's start with poinsettias. Poinsettias like a warm spot, lots of sun. They like to be on the dry side. So let the foliage or let the soil dry before you water. If they're in like a foil thing like this that they often are, you're going to want to poke holes in the bottom or put it in another pot so they have good drainage. Christmas cactus are another really popular plant, or Thanksgiving cactus is what we usually have now. They're sort of a succulent, so you're going to want to, again, keep them on the dry side, a bright spot, but they can take it a little cooler. 